What's up guys, so this is the Broverman and I am back to bring you the next episode of my Empire Toad War Let's Play as the United States. So to run off up on last time, we have fought a nice three battles against Maratha forces up here in Afghanistan, then one further down to the south here near Ahmedabad. So we're continuing our strategy of maximum pressure. So I've set these armies up to engage this army, and even though they've got no artillery and no really... I mean they've got some interesting troops, the Gurkhas particularly, but considering the fact I have 5,000 men compared to their two and a half, it's a toss of a coin. Anyone could win. Well, let's find out. But we are getting to the point of, uh, what well, I think, the, the end times. Because we are pushing successfully on all fronts. There is no real... a... too many Marath forces to stop. Um through a, com a number of pretty stunning victories we've managed to successfully push them back to the point where they have no no ability to withstand us so let's just deploy the troops they have no artillery and i have plenty so i am very much ready to exploit that that's the point of having the point of having a decent combined force so you're not weak in any particular area good stuff they've got basic infantry got a lot of cavalry so that's going to be our primary target because it's the cavalry that charges in suicidally at the start that causes most of the damage jump on the center Horsemen, you target unit Pindari horsemen, cav how it's target, whoever they like. Gurkhas are a good shout. Shaken. Oh yes. Could you imagine having such a limited force as this and needing to head towards this line of American troops backed with top quality artillery. Let's just deploy our cavalry more out on the flank. Because they've not... that's where their cavalry is, still. I mean, you're probably a good target to hit now. Ah, oh, that wasn't the Gurkhas they were targeting. The Gurkhas are over here. I do like the Gurkhas. I'm reading a book about them in from their operations in uh, Burma in 1944 by James James Holland I think it is I think the art the um, historian is uh, it's good it's a good story about the Battle of Admin Admin Box they call it which is a Japanese Haga offensive in Burma in 44 very good stuff talks a lot about native contingent which I know there's a perception that British uh, historians for some reason don't want to talk about it and you go no but we'll insert there might be a bit of that maybe i don't know um but when it comes to saying how brilliant the gurkhas have been in our history and it talks about the sikh troops and punjab troops um, in the british army it does not shy away from saying these guys were badass that's a really big um, diversion but it's a good book it's an author i'm getting more it's an author i'm getting more into because he's quite it's a fairly new one Bizarrely, uh, wait, <laughs> I'll stop talking about this. The battle's happening. Cavalry charging in, sending my household cavalry to counter charge. Household won't get there in time to deal with these Pindari horsemen. These guys are so few that I think my infantry fire will be enough to see them off. I mainly want my cavalry to be in a good position to respond to. To respond to their troops fleeing the field so they're going to engage over here these guys aren't yet ready to engage yeah Pindari hospital gone let's just pull my cavalry out so my job my plan isn't to commit them now it's to it's to 
to commit them when their army is broken. Which means running them away from their troops, because otherwise they will aggro on them. Play them. Smash into the desert warriors. They're not having it. The Gurkhas really want to kill this unit of cavalry, so I need to make sure I stay... stay ahead of them. Let's push this wing up. Let's hop back over. Let's retarget your fire. Oh, quick line! We'll go for that unit of Gurkhas. No, we lost five. We lost five. It's not too bad. To be honest, I might. <laughs> so this battery blast those boys and square to bits. So you here. Let's follow you back. Careful because there are elephants back here. Well, to be honest, I might switch all my guys to round shot to go after the elephants in the rear. Hopefully, these guys have given my infantry a chance to reload. Come on, finish them off. run around them like so. Count all of my infantry charge the Gurkhas, because the Gurkhas are really good. Very good warriors. Good, let's bring this House of Cavalry in to gauge, get ready to engage the Seed Musketeers. Run past and ignore them. We're straight into the Indian mercenary troop. Just waiting for them to get past this line of cavalry defences. Make sure guard modes are off for all of them so they'll continue to chase them down. All my artillery engage the seat. Musketeers. Let's commit my general. Let's get all my artillery, all of it, to focus on this single unit of mercenaries. Okay, there's only one more left of them. Go after the Desert Warriors. Absolutely continue. Let's turn off. Oops, extend the undrooving wall. Let's turn off my artillery fire. Get my general to chase down the Gurkhas. Get my infantry to run out of the way before they get charged by their own general. There we go. I suppose the infantry mercenaries are the important ones to kill there. 
you're having a nightmare trying to kill them, so let's get you on. Yeah, that might work. The general's going to get to kill the Gurkhas. Charge onto the Sikh warriors. So you've killed them. Okay, you... Well, near as damn it. Charge straight on. Oh, you might better get them. I want to go after these, this unit of mercenaries. Because you guys are going to route, they're going to route. So you guys can turn around and nail after that unit of mercenaries. And hopefully this unit can then route east to go help out my general against the Sikh warriors. Actually, you might go straight for them to help the general. You go after this unit of mercenaries. Oh no wait, you're still here. Damn, triple speed. We're not going to get to help my general, so go after the mercenaries as well. Oh no, they might. This other cavalry is going to catch the mercenaries. Good stuff. If these guys are all together. They should be able to get. Should be able to be killed. Oh, they successfully routed. Let's send my general or my other cavalry over to hunt down these last four, two, one. Decisive victory. North. Only 200 men remaining. Forward! March. You stay put, ready to reinforce. Daniel Winthrop, you can probably loop around March. here. To be honest, I might send Joseph A to have a look at Punjab. It's got a garrison, but nothing too worry, nothing to worry about. Plonk him on the bridge to cut off their escape. So now we've got them in a nice little pocket. Yeah, oh, a couple of loose stragglers that could be annoying over here. But I doubt they're going to do anything too terrible. It's a lot of cavalry. That's a crazy amount of cavalry. I want them to charge me. You're replenishing anyway. Two mortars, no siree. Your humble they hide behind women's I mean, I don't know, actually. If I take my time and bombard it... Um, yeah, come on, let's go after I... Ooh, hold on. So, ah, that's a lot of... No. So I need you, really, to engage this army, but I want them to try and move against me and trigger them into a, into a river battle. I mean, that's just an open field battle. So I'm, I want to... What I want to do is hold off on capturing too many of their cities because I want to try to defeat the armies on land. Um, but I think I'm going to hit and turn. See what they do. Oh, another army is ready. Marching to the sound of the gun is because they don't know what to do. Hey, they're selling out with no reinforcements. Well, that's good. I'll take that. Like I said, I won't properly without capturing, without just ignoring them, capturing all the, ignoring the armies on the field and then making them all disappear. It's definitely viable now for me. Many, so many armies. They can't stop all of them. And they can run around raiding me as much as they like, but... If I capture all their cities, they'll all disappear. Oh, rain. Let's get my fuselage in the centre. You want to, want to deploy back in case they deploy their mortars outside the front of the gates. Let's put one horse guard artillery. 
unit here. It's not a great position. But we do have bucket loads of infantry, so it's not a really a... Considering the opposition against us, um, optimising our artillery is not is not a great is not a key component in my opinion let me show everyone's so you've got you've got trenches you've got trenches okay let's just deploy some ah you can't deploy in this mode you have to be in this mode okay um, I'll go for these because they do also plant a, a bomb, I think, at the same time. Deploy the howitzers firing quick climb. Plonk down some rockets. General in the centre. So they've not deployed outside the gates. The nearest enemies over here on the right. Lots of artillery pounding the sensor where the mortars are. I think I speed up time just to see what the AI tries to do. Rockets are going in. So they should abandon their mortars completely. Yep, there they go. So they're gonna they're gonna suicide charge into me. If they make it to me, that is. As the rockets go in. They do look rather cool when they go in, I must admit. There you go, as they've come out into the open field, every single gun I've got is just trained on them now. Every single... Hey! That's just not fair! So even though the moors are back here, the gunner is... Why do I always forget this? I vaguely remember this happened before. Oh, that's not going to be good. Shrapnel them, everyone. Just hope they still go after my... rocket troop. So we'll kill a bunch of them. Good. Okay, you know what we're going to do? Make this a good old fashioned assault. Put some holes in the wall. We've lost our rockets. But we've gained a general who's just going to wait. She might retreat. While we go to work. Well, I can't populous and garrison Hindu warriors, not really a concern. Move up our troops, retreat you. Push up our fusiliers in the centre. Damn, these stupid, annoying mortars. We can come in and root you out of the, your... root you out of your little... houses. So you're going to join this flank, who will push up. So I want this flank needs to rush up, just so they don't get caught on the hop by the musketeers.
everyone else can get together, can get up speed more slowly. Hey, that's my routing general, routing general's bodyguard. We're not routing, withdrawing. I mean, if you're going to walk away from me, I'm just going to fuel. The artillery inside the force engaged. Everyone fire on this unit of Hindi musketeers. Quick climbing artillery especially is gonna have a gonna have a hell of a time. When they fire, there they go. Shells are away. Look at that. How they're not routing, it's going to say. Uh, the artillery's engaging inside. Yep, and they're coming out to play. You guys can cover this flank. Cover the breach. You also get here ready to cover the breach because here comes some cavalry. It's definitely not targeting them with quick lines. I can see exactly what's going to happen. I mean, I was looking at them being like, who are they going for? Fusilier is going to have a few shots at them. Oh, no, they haven't. Good, we're engaging them on all flanks. You guys need to be looped in. Too bad you've already fired. Quick climb the armed populace before they have a chance to get in. Let's get ready to hold fire when they get too close. Oh, they're firing the round shot anyway. Send my fusiliers in. stuff because you are just um populist you're pretty as much as my fusiliers aren't very good you guys are pretty terrible as well it's cavalry and some lancers so let's form square with you because they're coming after you charge you in against the hindu warriors to help support the fusiliers Grenadiers go against the armed populace to try and make them rout, but I'd like to send them against the... Once they have routed, yeah. Send them to the back of the Hindu warriors. You guys form square. Oh, too bad you're facing Hindu warriors. Get fire engaged, send them in on foot. I'm just going to march you guys straight in. Let's get out of square. 
but somewhere who you can more readily get involved in this big scrum that's going to devolve in, into the centre. Come on, have a pop at them. Target there with your quick climb, and you'll get lots of kills. So I'm firing them at attack ground at the breach, not at a unit. Quick climb coming in. We drop. Oh yes. that route from lovely, lovely quicklime. Well, I think that's everyone. Nope, there's a general's unit in the centre. Just what? I just switched to round shot. Send a couple of units inside the walls. Just to give them something to think about. I mean, charge them in just to get some some kills. Loads of kills on there. Yep, they formed diamond. They're ready to rock and roll. But it won't be long until these guys are knocked out. My general doing some cleaner duty, but probably not very much. General's done for. Well, captain's done for. Um, could do some mopping up. Could do some mopping up, but they're not going to go anywhere because we're, because they're in a city. I have to fight the battle again, but they're going to be almost dead. Well, they are dead. 426 men remaining. That's not something I'm concerned about. <gasps> oh, they've, they've brought them all in. For a good old bridge battle. So this guy's tried to clear the way with his ragtag army. And I hope that these two are... So this unit, I hope... No, it's not him. Because he's... Damaged. It's not the guy at the... It might be the guy at the back. Him? Trippies, it might be the garrison. So... Uh, this could be a bit of dodge. Dodge. Let's assume things are okay. If not, just deploy... Well, I might concentrate my forces at the Ford and have a token unit defending the bridge, just in case. Because that way, if they're all at the Ford, I can fall and face multiple directions. So if I put you here, two units of line, that'll be enough to cover the bridge, this bridge. Let's put a unit of well, two batteries like this, ready to fire at whoever, and one unit 
ready to come over here to blast this bank with shrapnel shot, which I'm going to take U5 to form a nice square. Everyone else, you guys can actually form a, quite a decent little reserve. So... Climb you, you, you. Trap my shot. Too late. But they are getting shot to hell. Okay, let's do something like this so I can keep you guys just blasting there with shrapnel shot and these guys are in a V formation to be honest I probably should have these guys firing well mostly these guys firing round shot you're going to keep firing around shrapnel shot into the breach everyone else may as well fire round I might send two units over here just to give them a bit of backup. Let's put two units back here just in case. There we go. So oh, I need to deploy you, redeploy you. That's the first troops of horsemen are coming in. Okay, so this, these two central guns, your immediate job, fire against this 12 pounder, you firing, you might as well fire a round shot at whoever you like, go for that unit of generals, bodyguard, our horsemen have routed, these ones are trying to have a skirmish on my line. But that's so my artillery set to attack ground because I don't, I don't really care about optimizing it to hit any certain people. Let's keep my central batteries just firing against the artillery back here. Mainly because we haven't got a need. One of my men there died from being shot in the backside by a cannon. Brave man of the 106th Sikh Warriors. Look at the horse bodies. I am watching with news. We were with eagerness the news of the RTX 3080. That's what I want to buy when I update my rig towards the end of the year. Poor souls. Maybe we should retreat, boys. Oh, they got the, got the platoon commander. And he disappeared. Okay, so they're starting some counter battery. My R2 is just going to keep engaging. tried another mass crossing but even though we're only firing firewall of the front rank it still does we've got so many guns which you guys may as the target is there so temptingly blast the general oh excellent shot from the howitzer there The other guns fire, take out one elephant with a pure old fish shot. Well, that's probably enough. Get back to work on the guns at the rear. Because that's they're using those to shoot at us. The scoundrels. Do you want 
Everyone's crossing. Everyone's heading over in that direction. So I'm not worried about chasing them down because this is the army, or well, these are the armies we've got trapped in a pocket. You want to specifically target them into the elephants. Considering the damage elephants can do when they get in, they'll just break my formation. Dari's are in. Come on, gunners. We might get some collateral shots from the cavalry. I have to aim for the cannons. Nope. Aim for the gunners. You guys form into square. Blowing the general's head off with a shoot through canister shot. This eleven's done. Turn you guys fire all off. Form square again with them. Keep firing into the mass of troops. Let's bring in another unit of line infantry. Still ripping into them. So they are getting. They are managing to survive a little bit. When it comes to having a bit of a gun battle with my troops. But in general, it's not going to be enough. Okay, let's target the Gurkhas. These guys deployed to provide withering fire. My gunner seems to be getting some results. Well, minor results. It's tempting to send my horse guards. When these guys get damaged enough, I might actually start plinking at them with my howitzers. Just go mop up their guns in the rear. Oh, the mass crossing's happening. them down. Poor souls, it's just a slaughter. Fortunate Dakil. Daki? Dakil? Dakili. Standing strong. Gurkhas are still moving in. More of them. They are confident. You better get to the line before they've reloaded, buddies. Too late. That's not gonna. That's the team commander, or the company commander. They knocked the. <laughs> not the trading team. Don't worry, they're very much nothing. An irritant, that's what they are. Royal Indian Cavalry Guards are rounding before they've been made into range. Lots of friendly fire there from the Pindari Horsemen. As they surge across the river. There's some armed peasantry coming in. Bad times for these troops trying to cross. Okay, hold on, I need to quickly. Can you guys go after this single gunner? Back to the action. No, oh, they've been routed. No, peasantries aren't going to stay around for very long either. Warrior in. Brave them. 
and they keep coming back. So they've got one unit covering the... Two units still covering the troops. I want to watch these camels die. I really dislike camel troops. <laughs> Look at this guy. Look at this joker. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Doing his tricks. <laughs> Come on, someone shoot him. Someone shot him, No, uh, he's gonna get away. Maybe they'll come back. Some more cavalry. I mean, I probably could just advance over the bridge, to be honest, and take care of them. Come on, lads. <gasps> Come back. Okay, cannon. Where is he? There he is. Let's watch him. Come on, Rajesh. Leading his men into the battle like a true, ch true chat. Oh, it's a bit hot. It's a bit hot. He doesn't like it. Go back down. Nope, not enough. But he's, st he's still giving it, giving it the beans on the way out. Oh, they got him! <laughs> brilliant. Oh, that's brilliant. You doing it too? Where's your guy? Maybe he's already been shot off his horse. I've taken out one of my gun teams. Mortars, eh? Have to get ready to have to move on them pretty quick. Nope, these camels have had enough. Okay, let's go over here. Now this is gonna be where this is where the main effort's going to be, is we march along neatly in column. Could you imagine if they drop quick climb onto here? Which Oh my god, they've got mortars, don't they? Run! Get off the bridge! You go after the foot artillery at the rear. Oh, camels are trying to cross again. With two my sipahi, sipahis. They look badass though. Don't want to chance it. Like the general off his horse. Let's run. run our troops up to the bridge. I didn't, I didn't take into account of how many reinforcements are coming in. Could come in. Could go excellently, and we end up. This could go excellently, excellently, and we end up trapping a large amount of their forces before they can even get to the bridge. Sure, as the mortars have already done a lot of damage. Our troops are still relatively in good nick. Can't quite find the Royal Infantry Guards can. They? Okay, let's target our foot artillery to also help you. 
Ah, we're too close for your puny quicklime shells to work. Sort of. Guards route, that would be great. Yes, charge them down. Yeah, we'll go after these guys first. Because these guys aren't going to cross the river, not very well. of artillery pounding down on you. Come on, lads. To be honest, I should really start to move guys over the river, but this is too, too much of a turkey shoot to, to do that. Come on, Grenadiers. Chop them down. Stab. Come on, you got one guy. It's not a surprising there's lots of routing from this side. Let's push you guys up. They're still determined to drive onto the bridge. off a bit. Charge into them. Did these guys... No, okay, I was about to say, did these guys survive on the bridge? Exciting. So, so, let's turn off the artillery here to commit the general to chase down these last few troops. We chase into these last few remaining troops. the line. Let's continue. Go after those dervishes. And let's triple speed it. Sid horse guards go after the proper infantry first. Because I'm not bothered about killing armed peasantry. At least not if they're the only thing on offer. So we do an absolute Incredible amounts of damage to them. Okay, all of you chaps have routed. So let's go group our cavalry together for the last demolition of these Indian troops. One guy left. <laughs> Everyone's like, Where, where's he gone? <laughs> awesome. Beloved good brewer battle. So satisfying. 
465 lost for 2,700 of them. That's all of their forces in this area have just been obliterated. Yep, as the fragments attempt to try and sneak, sneak through the gaps in our lines, it will not be successful. Because we've got enough troops up near Afghanistan where we can chase after the stragglers with individual armies. It's not the most efficient. You'd probably... You'd may, you may as well develop... Ooh, they're selling out. Wicked. I'm uh, looking at the timer. I believe that's the end of this part. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for a battle outside Goa. Cheers, everyone.